Hey everybody, this is Mad Panda Games here, and today we're going to be tackling another part of Angels of Death, Episode 4. Now, where we last left off, I believe we just discovered Ray's past, and more importantly, I think Zack has finally realized that she's the killer. So let's go back out. Now we'll finally, maybe we'll finally be welcome back. He'll finally let us in. Dr. Danny? Yeah, it's open. It's open. Let's do this. Do 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 save because we never know what's gonna happen. He's gone. She's still here. Hey, wake up. You've had enough shut eye. Get your ass up. Zach? I'm so sorry. And I was so sure that I wouldn't drag you down too. Shut up. None of that shit matters. Huh. Listen to me. Ray, I need you to answer me. The people who come to this floor. Are you gonna kill them? The truth has been revealed. Hey, explain yourself. Can you stop getting rough with Rachel, Zach? Ugh, we should have found that. We should have looked for him first. Watch out back off. Ugh, he has a gun now. What a simpleton you are. It's repulsive. Dr. Danny. Why, good morning, Rachel. I took the liberty of bringing Zack up to speed on everything about you. I didn't think she wanted that. Oh my. Oh, those turbid peepers. It feels as if they could envelop me at any moment. Gosh, she's creepy. What the hell's going on? Am I gonna be killed by you since I'm on your floor? No. Never. Now, Rachel. You mustn't lie. Don't misunderstand me. I don't wish to put a bullet through your head. Hey! Silence! Will you give it a rest? Didn't I say I'm as desperate as you? I must make her understand that. Besides, a low-life monster like yourself must be dying to know as well. Gosh, she's creepy. Rachel killed her parents in seeking her perfect family. I was assigned to be her therapist. It was then I insisted she be made into a resident here on this floor. Well, although the Reverend didn't seem very taken with the idea, I was convinced everything would be fine, and look what's happened. Everyone else is dead. Most of all, her peepers. I longed to protect her eternal solitude at any cost. But her spirit was shattered. Before I knew it, she was reading a Bible placed in this room. Right? Naturally, the Reverend wouldn't allow me to assign someone like her as a floor guardian. Tell me, Rachel, how could a calm and collected person like yourself become so corrupted? Oh, because she's not believing in the Reverend as God. I wanted to achieve my own ideal. I couldn't accept anything other than that. But the Bible told me that it was me who would not be accepted. Aww. <laughs> and so, you tried to die, assuming the guise of someone normal, pure and innocent. In Zack, Rachel was convinced she would get away with it with your help. A fool who swore an oath to God, and to top it all off, became the very thing for her that you swore to. But Rachel, you already knew, didn't you? No matter how much one reads the Bible, or realizes one's mistakes, one can never deceive one's true self. Ah, oh, gosh. Can we kill him? Somewhere in that heart of yours, you secretly wished to own Zack, did you not? Oh, like her family. Oh, how wonderfully horrible! Ugh! Stop shooting! Well, Zack, you've come to a crossroads. Die here, or climb down from your exalted altar as Ray's god and leave here alone. What shall it be? The truth can no longer be undone. Rachel can no longer return and must stay here. She has effectively deceived you. Can we cut his tongue off? That's just a creepy sprite. Ray. 
Is what Danny's saying true? Come on, tell us the truth, Ray. Yes. That's right, Zack. So you lied to me, huh? I did, Zack. Zack, will you still be my god? Huh. If we say no, I think she's gonna go off the deep end. You wanna entrust yourself to me? Um. Um. Not some god of yours. Uh oh. Wonderful! Couldn't have said it better myself! Well, Rachel, you've returned to your usual self now. Tell me what it is you desire. I'll make it come true. Oh, and Zack, feel free to run along. Selfish bastard, don't tell me what to do. Wait. Rachel? What is it? I've committed a foul sin. That much I know. But it was no use. Just knowing it was a sin. That's why, the why that's bad, I just can't figure out. Is it futile, Zack? Am I wrong? Are you not my god, Zack? But I need one, Zack. I need a god. Ray! There it is. Oh, Rachel! That's the very instant your peepers are the most beautiful. Zack, I'm afraid I'll have to retract my offer to let you go. Now my top priority is her wishes. Uh-oh. Well, your only option now is to go after her, even if it can mean your death, Zack. To fulfill her wishes, I shall become her servant. Uh-oh. Ah, shit. Wait. Okay. Well... Looks, I have a feeling we're gonna go have to deal with all these traps now. Huh? Don't lock the door! What the? What? The door's locked? What do we do then? Oh, this way. I'm nervous. Where the hell is she? Why feel it? Hey, what's this doing filled up with water again? Don't tell me that she's in here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah! For fuck's sake! The hell? I had a feeling this wouldn't work on you, Zack. That bitch. Thought I told her to wait up. Okay. Let's go after it. Yes. Okay. Oh gosh, no. Everything's on fire now. Everything's on fire. Fuck. That scared the shit out of me. Playing with fire, huh? I'll head you off and get you. Hey, cut it out. Three, two, huh? One. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell? Gosh, she's smart. She led us there like a rat, a rat in a trap. Shit. Oh, wow. This won't work either. Well, you really do hate fire, don't you? Just look at her eyes. It's like she's dead. Yeah, I'll fuck you up. He's getting angry. We gotta capture her. Did she run away to her room? What the hell? What? Hey, wait, what the fuck? Okay. Okay. Why was there a boulder there? What the hell? That was too much crazy for me. See? He agrees. Cut it out. Don't fuck with me. Remember that, you idiot. Okay. Seriously, what the hell? Why was there a boulder? And now, 
one-on-one. One-v-one. Hey, how long you plan to keep running? You gonna shoot us now? Are you gonna shoot me? Will that kill you? Maybe. If you're gonna kill me, then how's about I kill you first? It can't be that way now. Zack, it was useless from the very start. Even now, my soul's telling me that I gotta die. I gotta be killed. But God would never desire an abomination like me. He is no use for me. And it was you, Zack, who swore to God that you would kill me. But once I learned that God doesn't exist, I made you my God, Zack. Ray, listen to me. How many times do I gotta say this? I ain't your God. Yes, I'm aware, Zack. What are you aware of? Yes, please tell us. Please don't shoot us. My lies been exposed. My God is dead. Hey, wait. She gonna jump out the window? Okay, no, she didn't. Damn it. She won't listen to what I gotta say and just says a piece and runs off on her own. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to the very beginning. I bet she's here. It's open. Yep. Let's do this. All you ever do is run away. Yeah. Say something. Something. Can't you take a hint that she has nothing left to say to you? Dude, ruining the moment. That was unlike you, leaving yourself open like that. You bastard. Don't move or you're dead. Rachel, what took you so long? That's not like you. Hmm, well, a monster like that would probably slow anybody down. But no need to worry now. Even he can't survive a shot to the head. You bastard. <laughs> I'm sorry, doctor. Ha-ha! <laughs> we shot him. Rachel? We shot him. Rachel? Is he still wearing that vest? Dr. Danny, Zack's mine to kill. Ah, is that so? That makes sense. Besides... I'm too tired to go on. I want to finish this. I'm sorry, Dr. Danny. I can't live with you. Uh-oh. No! 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 Is he dead now? Oh, that's a creepy smile. I've already killed and created a family, so I won't be forgiven anyway. It's over. I don't care, even if it's not my god. It doesn't matter anymore. But Zack, lastly, I want to make you mine by my own hands. If you want so bad, then do it. You want to die? You want me dead? You want to end this? Which is it? None of what you're saying makes a bit of sense. I know that. Well then, quit saying such stupid shit. Let's do it. I don't mean to. I'm dead serious. I'm serious about killing you. Is that so? <laughs> Killed by a pint-sized squirt like you? Pfft, not happening. No. No. Zack. If you want to end so bad, then I'll end it. No. 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 What's the problem? I be granting your wish. Don't kill me. Not like this. 
Don't kill me! Huh? She finally has that face. It's just that you are no longer... My god! I no longer have any need for... My own god. My god is dead! She's finally accepted herself. So now she doesn't want to die anymore. Oh, that's right. I killed your god. Ah, I killed it! Ah! But I'm not dead. Did you catch my drift? Who said they'd kill you? Oh my god! No! <laughs> me. It was me. Not someone else or your god. I will kill you. But I... That can't be. I'm defiled. Who do you think you're talking to here? Yeah, we're all kind of screwed up. I'm a killer. Killing's my passion. I've killed more than I can count. Yeah. But, I never run around all psychotically like you and Danny. I don't talk shit about your parents or God. But there's no reason to go around making them excuses for your actions. I, for one, set my heart on what I want and act on my own volition. You go, Zack. If I'm my own man, then you're your own woman, right? Am I wrong? I'm my own woman? Atta girl. Yeah, atta girl. If you're your own woman, then grab life by the balls. Take control, damn it. Uh, uh. Hey, Ray. You see me? Who am I? Well, you're not your god, our god anymore. You're just Zack. You're just Zack. Zack. Ah, oh, her eyes are bright again. Yep, and not some god, rat. Yeah. You were Zack all along. There you go, now we're up to speed. Hey, you're too damn serious for a crazy bitch. Well, gee, thanks. Hey, Ray. Look who's in front of you. Me. If you can grasp that concept. Ray. Desire me. If you want to die, swear an oath for me to kill you. Swear it for yourself. And swear it for me. Okay. Man, that face. That face. That face. Oh, she's crying. She's crying. Aww. Okay. Okay. I swear it. I swear to you, Zach. And I swear right back at ya. Cool. Uh, oh, she's crying. Now let's escape. Let's escape. Let's get out. Dark screen. We gonna escape? Let's escape. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yep. Hey, how long you gonna sniffle like that for? My nose is red, give me a moment. But my nose is running by itself. You dumb shit, there's no need to say that. Our plan is to get out of here, so do something about it, will ya? Okay. Hold it, ain't this your floor? You know the way out? To tell you the truth, I have no memory of going above here. What? Give me a fucking break. I wasn't paying attention, but there's a foyer in this living room. Well then, let's go check out the foyer first. All right. Yeah, together again. Let's go escape this place together again. Hey. Dr. Danny. Zack? 
Oh, he's making sure he's dead. Okay, he ain't going anywhere. Yeah. So it seems. Just making sure. Hey, does this TV not work? Nope. That sucks. Okay. Wait, what is this? Is that just empty room? Okay. So there's a foyer. Okay, living room's foyer first. Wait, where's the living room's foyer? I don't know where the living room's foyer is. Is this flat fake? Yeah, but it smells like the real thing. Phew, it reeks. It does not. She's like, this is my floor. What is this? Oh, wait. I thought that was just like art. Huh? Isn't this a wall? If I'm not mistaken, this should be the foyer. Zach, give it a hard shove. Okay. Now you're talking. It's gotta finally get to destroy things. Okay, looks like it worked. I knew it would open. Look, you didn't have to hack it to bits, Zack. Bah, it opened, so who cares? I see. It opened, so that's all that matters. Cool. And here we are. What, should I be scared? A dead end. But let's take a look around, just in case. Yeah, nothing's a dead end to this place. Nothing. Nothing's a dead end. Barrier tape lies on the floor. Okay. Nothing is inside the cardboard box. The dumpster appears empty. And then in the box. The cardboard box only contains garbage. Huh. Huh. Not even any pay dirt to hit. That's odd. Something feels off. Ain't this your floor? Yeah, what? Ain't this your floor? Something should be happening. Let's figure out where the exit might be. Okay. Maybe it's somewhere we've never been, or on this floor. On this floor? Nah, I've checked every nook and cranny besides this room when I was setting traps. Gotta hand it to you. Yeah, I gotta hand it to you. There's a lot of traps. Hmm. Damn, this makes no sense. Has anybody ever come down here from upstairs before? Nah. That can't be. I mean, anyone besides you would die in a trap, so we'd know. Heh. <laughs> Probably so. So nobody came down from upstairs, huh? Yeah, something sure don't make any sense. Hmm. What is it? Nobody came down from upstairs. That's... Yeah. We're already on the ground floor. Then we must already be on the ground floor. You're shitting me! Now let's smash a wall and get out of here already. Huh. I don't think it worked. The wall just caved in. It didn't lead outside. Sorry, maybe I goofed up. Wah! Think it over again. Okay, well that's not it. Nobody came down from- okay. Let's go strange. Wait, that's strange. After all, Dr. Danny went in and out of the building. The traps and furniture over this room were all things he bought outside. Huh? What do you mean? Give me a second, I'll think it over. Huh. Yeah, what is it? What is it? Nobody's come down to this floor from outside, but Dr. Danny came and went as he pleased, which means... There's a warp that takes me- uh, the way out must be on this floor. There's a way out on another floor. Um, I don't know, maybe a way out on another floor? Hopefully it's right. There's another way out on this floor. Huh, what do you mean by that? When you came, were the other killers, Kathy and Eddie, already in this building? Huh? Oh, those weirdos. I bet they spoke to them since they're all freaks. Just as I suspected. Which means... 
I'm the last one to come to this building. In that case... I don't know! Is it downstairs? Zack, let's go downstairs. What? Downstairs. There may be a way out downstairs on floor B2. Is that gonna work? Or am I wrong? That makes no freaking sense. Are you psychic or something? There wasn't a need for a way out to be inside this room. In other words, my floor, this floor, should be the very last one made. In that case, when this room was made, there was already a way leading outside. You and I were surely brought in here from there. Huh. Dr. Danny, who I met outside, had this room built by the Reverend later on. So I think it wasn't linked to 1F. The fact that I've never seen anyone come downstairs is proof. Huh. That's smart. I'm not sure what to make of all this. We need to go downstairs, right? Right. Let's do this. Plus, I recall that the switch to go downstairs is somewhere on this floor. That should be all we need. Okay? You say so, then I'm game. Let's move out. Okay. We'll move out. Oh. The switch should be should be there. The switch should be somewhere around the music box in the basement. Okay. I don't know. Do I want to continue? You know what? No. I think I'm going to continue in the next episode. We've covered a lot. We've had emotional, you know, developments. So this is Matt Panda signing out. If you like my content and you want to see more content like this, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Once again, this is Matt Panda signing out. See you later, guys.